of homeboys and homegirls. You've got Sherry here, my friend Gavin, and we're gonna be doing a little bit of challenge with this thing here called the Chatterbox. Anyways, we're gonna do some challenges with the help of Lady Shark, so let's give it up for Lady Shark. Lady Shark, Lady Shark. Okay, Tell us what to do, Lady Shark. Hand this to Lady Shark and uh, see what challenges we have. Oh, I see some purple, some green, red, and Me blue. Me first? Okay. Mm. Um, so I gotta pick a color. Uh, let's do red. R E D. One, one, eight. Oh, let's see, let's see. <laughs> what the day challenge is gonna be lunch. I'm hungry for lunch. I have, an, I have a feeling that's not what this is about. Here we go, Sherry. It's a lunch challenge. We are to stack these Lunchables. Every single item in the Lunchable we have to stack. The first one to stack them all will not get hit by Lady Shark. Let's Here we go. This. Three, two, one, go. Bro. Hey, no, what? Are you kidding me? You, you want to just eat the whole thing? Yes, I actually Disqualify do. me? Oreos are so delicious. Or it doesn't even matter because I'm done with my stack. All right, it is my turn. <laughs> Let's go with red. Just turn British. <laughs> uh, two. Two. And I'm going back with two again. Two is Capri Sun Chug. Chug, 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 chug. This is simple. First one to chug the Capri Sun and finish it wins. Are you marking set? Go. Oh, 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 you're going a different route. Go. We're ready for the next Chatterbox challenge. I will go. Let's go with red. R E D. Five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> what number are you going to pick now? Let's go with four. Mmm. Let's is check going it. going to be Hubba Bubba. Hubba Bubba. So we figured out Hubba Bubba is Hubba Bubba Bubble Tape. Hubba Bubba Bubba Need a Bubba Tape. So the goal for this challenge is who can blow the biggest bubble using your Hubba Bubba Bubble Tape. Oh, I got Biggest this. Biggest bubble bro. wins. So Are we going? Let's. Yes. In three, two, one. Pick your size of shape. See what's going to be the. Well, this is six feet long. Sounds like a little fart. Number two. two. One, two. Ooh. And now I pick one. Let's yes. go with number six. Six. <laughs> oh boy. What's it say? What's it say? What's it say? Uh, explosion? Next up, we got the warhead challenge. How many of you have heard of warheads? The object of this is we are going to roll a dice, and whatever number we land on is how many warheads we're going to eat right now. You ready for it? <laughs> Don't be a baby. Let's go. I am. I two. got five. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh my gosh. Okay. How about you two. go blue? I'll go pink. You go green. Whatever. Great. Open yeah, them up. Open them up. And meanwhile, we're gonna try to keep our composure, and whoever doesn't keep their composure, that's when Lady Shark will attack. On your marks, get set, warhead. Came back, your eyes are watering. <laughs> Ew! Oh no! Ugh. We have reached another round of Chatterbox Challenge. Yeah. Purple! B U R P L E. Good thing he knows how to spell. Three. One, two, three. Mm, what number are you gonna pick? What number are you gonna pick? Um, seven. Just put it up. Seven is the number. Seven. Of heaven. VHS? What is that? <laughs> what are those? Sing, sing, sing. These are what they call VHSs. 
Uh, so this is a VHS tape. Our goal is to be the first to unspool the film that is inside these, because that's how you used to watch things back in the day. Three, two, one, go. What? 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 Watch on, this, bro. Come on, Stuart Little. Oh no, it's trapped in there. What is this? What is this? Yeah! <laughs> what is happening? Oh boy. <laughs> How did you get it open? Yeah. Are you in there? Yes! Oh, ah. What did you do? Yes! Check this out. Oh. Oh. No, 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 no. F A B O L O U S. All of that. What? Speaking of retro, we're going to hear about the Bible from one of our awesome friends. The Bible is one big story that leads us to trust and follow Jesus. Today, we're talking about a famous story in the Old Testament of the Bible, the story of David and Goliath. At this time in history, the nation of Israel was at war with the evil Philistines. But the Philistines had a secret weapon, a nine foot warrior giant named Goliath. Goliath challenges Israel to send their best warrior to fight him in a winner takes all battle to the death. All the Israelite soldiers are too scared, but not David, who was just a young man visiting his brothers on the battlefield. David wasn't even a soldier like his brothers. But David runs out to meet Goliath and says this in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verses 47 through 49. All those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's, and he will give you all into our hands. As the Philistine moved closer to attack him, David ran quickly towards the battle line to meet him. Reaching into his bag and taking out a stone, he slung it and struck the Philistine on the forehead. The stone sank into his forehead and he fell face down on the ground. Whoa! David used a simple slingshot and took down a giant. Let's read through this passage a few more times and talk about it in our group.
love video games. Some of my favorite games are the ones where I have to fight off the big, large, scary villain. But one of the hardest choices I have to make is which character I choose. Bring them in, boys. First up, we have the man, the myth, the legend, Link. Link is a brave, skilled warrior from the kingdom of Hyrule and he's ready to fight with his mystical master sword to defeat the forces of evil. Let's give it up for Link from The Legend of Zelda! All right, next up in this corner, we have one of the greatest, the strongest Spartans. He was trained for combat, and he's ready to defend humanity at all cost. Coming to you at seven feet tall, with legs of steel, he is the master, he is the chief, he is John 117. And no, not the verse. He is Master Chief from Halo. All right, our next fighter, she has fin fighting powers and teeth sharper than a sword. She's roamed the mystical seas. She's been to the faraway land of Game City and planet Earth. Her main mission, to bring justice. Weapon of choice, pool noodles. Let's give it up for the one, the only, Lady Shark! All right, last but not least is your average Joe Plumber from Brooklyn, New York. He comes ready to fight in his overalls uh, and his dad's shoes. He is short, a little pudgy, but hey, he can fix a toilet like no other. He's got no real power and uh, no real weapons, but he sure can grow a stash. Nice. But despite his size or lack of ability, he continues to fight, believing he can save the Princess Peach. Let's give it up for Mario! Okay, ladies and gentlemen, these are our fighters, and they will be going up against their enemy, an incredibly tall Philistine champion with a large sword and a spear three times my size. He's large, and he thinks he's in charge. Let's give it up for Goliath! All right, which fighter would you choose? I mean, if you were fighting a large beast like Goliath, you would want to choose the strongest, tallest, most fierce fighter you could get, right? <laughs> yeah. I would too. But when this battle actually took place in the Bible, God didn't choose Lady Shark or Master Chief or any of those powerful fighters. He chose an average Joe like Mario. Okay, not actually Mario, but he chose David to fight Goliath. David was a lot like Mario. He didn't have weapons or muscles that could squeeze you to a pulp. David was just a small, young shepherd boy. And Goliath, much like Bowser, might have been a nine foot tall warrior giant. But when it came down to fight, all it took was a small sling and a stone to take Goliath down. But why David? How did he defeat Goliath? In the Bible, David says, all those gathered here will know that it is not by sword or by spear that the Lord saves, for the battle is the Lord's and he will give all of you into our hands. David trusted that God would help him fight the battle. He didn't need a mystical sword like Link or large armor like Master Chief. All he needed was to remember that God would fight for him. Life is full of difficulty, but God is bigger than anything we could face. We might not go into battle against a giant like David, but we can have the same attitude that he had when he faced Goliath. Like David, we can know that the battle is the Lord's. And when you're unsure of the outcome of situations in your life, you can be confident that God fights for you.